Dr. Nab, the steering of what is we expect to be Imelda is very complicated. Yeah, it is definitely going to be brought northward. But then could that northward motion ahead of our eastern U.S. trough be, be slowed down by Umberto when it gets closer. That is the big interplay that is making this such a tough forecast. Let's take a look at the models. The colors of the low-level spin, the white lines are the main mid-level steering, and those dashed white lines are the upper-level outflow. And here it comes northward. There's no doubt about that mm -hmm. because Umberto is still pretty distant. you got your subtropical high. you got your trough over the eastern U.S. Here is that path northward. No surprise over the weekend, but, Mike, after Sunday, it gets a little more dicey. Okay, so coming northbound, maybe a slight jaw to the west here you know every few miles matters in a, in a situation like this once we get to tuesday uh it, it might put on the brakes here at the coastline it might that's the big question the euro model the main run brings it to the coast by tuesday morning but that's just one run of the euro mm -hmm. looking at the sunday monday tuesday time frame watch the uncertainty in the euro so here is sunday morning pretty good agreement it's still going to be over the bahamas let's go to monday and the uncertainty gets much higher in There's just a that 24 There's a lot hours. of spread here north to south. Yeah, some bring it quickly toward the coastline, which is why you need to prepare this weekend in case it gets to the coast faster. Mm -hmm. But some of the possibilities are it's still lingering over the Bahamas and everything in between because the closer Umberto gets, the weaker the steering currents could get. But now let's get to Tuesday morning, which is that same time that the main Euro run shows essentially a landfall. <laughs> Some of the possibilities are it's already inland. Some of the possibilities are it's lingering right near the coast. And there's still a couple of possibilities where it still hasn't made landfall yet. So it's hard to, to say with any Wednesday. precision what could be happening. Yeah. Wednesday is even a bigger mess. Yeah, and that is a time frame when it could still be lingering offshore. It could still be lingering on land or it has made landfall and it is looping back offshore, lingering near the coast. So, yeah. Mike, we don't have to obsess too much about when landfall of the center occurs. Yeah. If it is moving slowly, centered just offshore, just inland or right on the coast, that's a problem if it's close to the coast. And the chances mm -hmm. of that are pretty high. The rainfall is going to be about the same in mm -hmm. either scenario. Maybe it changes the... The algebra here for maybe beach erosion or, or yeah. storm surge, but, you know, it, it's six half dozen the other, right? Yeah, and how far inland it goes definitely affects, you know, western parts of the Carolinas. But the, picking up the Euro into Tuesday night, look at how it loops around right near the coast. Onshore, back offshore, onshore, back offshore. That's a long duration event. Pack your patience in the, for the possibility that once it does arrive, you could have to be hunkering down for days. Is that a four-day event, maybe, that hangs out on top of you, knowing that that could be a possibility, I think people, could people be underestimating how bad the rain could end up being? Yes, this could be an absolutely horrific rainfall-induced flood event if it hangs around mm -hmm. near the coast for days, and that is a possibility. But as Umberto and future Imelda are closest together in the Monday, Tuesday time frame, that's the most uncertain time frame in terms of what the forward speed of future Imelda is going to be. Case in point, let's look at the GFS. And these are the rainfall differences, because to your point, Mike, uh, if, they, if that particular Euro run is right, it's a lot of rainfall for all the Carolinas. If the GFS is right, it's a rainfall problem, but it's much closer to the coast. Mm -hmm. But that's only in the main GFS run. Now, watch the previous GFS and watch the changes in these runs. Previous GFS comes to the coast Tuesday morning, hangs around right near the coast for days. Mm -hmm. The latest GFS, however, does something different, but only subtly different. It gets near the coast by Tuesday morning and then hangs out near the coast for about a day and then goes offshore. That's still a storm surge, wind, and rain problem, even without landfall. But, you know, there's small change. I mean, there's not a huge difference in distance between the two of those, but there might be a huge difference in what the outcome is of those two things. Yes, and those are only two possible GFS uh, outcomes. Look at the ensembles. Some make landfall by Monday night. Some linger over land into Tuesday. Some haven't come ashore, and some go on land and back offshore. Could be here. It could be here. Could be near the coast. So mm -hmm. there's a lot to digest there, but to boil it down to what it matters to people, be prepared and done by Monday for the possibility that the conditions start to affect you then.
but then get ready for the possibility that it takes a while to come ashore, or once it does, it hangs around for a while. Once we get a closed low, we get Imelda, do you think that that potentially makes the forecast a little clearer, where it could still be, you know, at odds? I think it will help a little bit, and so will all the data from the aircraft, but there will still be uncertainty because of the presence of Umberto. All right.